voting is now underway for a controversial streetcar project that could change the look and feel of two Northern California cities. KCRA 3's Mike Lurie is live in downtown Sacramento to show us what the verbal sparring is all about. Mike? That's right, Kelly. Here in downtown Sacramento, you'll find plenty of signs, including this one, uh, campaign sign blasting the project, this one calling it a trolley tax trick. But across the street, a different message, a sign from the Yes supporters who are touting the economic benefits of the streetcar. The three mile route starts in West Sacramento and stops at Rayleigh Field, where you can catch a River Cats game. From there, the streetcar crosses the Tower Bridge to Sacramento for a stop at the train station before heading over to Sacramento's downtown entertainment sports complex, home of the new Kings Arena. So it helps us with smart growth. Election signs are popping up now, urging a yes vote for the $38 million streetcar project. Supporters say it will generate more than $2 billion in economic development and improve mobility between the two capital cities. And ultimately, those short trips that you might take, one mile, two mile, they're not only the dirtiest trips, but people circle for parking. They, they worry about parking tickets. This allows you to go carefree, not just car free, but carefree. Vote by mail ballots are now arriving for some 3,700 residents living along the route. Voters in that special district must decide whether to tax themselves anywhere between $3 a month for residents and up to thousands of dollars if they own commercial property to purchase tracks, vehicles, and landscaping for the streetcars. Uh, the people in Sacramento are going to be taxed heavily for this for a period of 30 or 40 years. Julian Camacho is with Sacramento taxpayers opposed to pork. He's the catalyst behind those yard signs warning voters not to fall for what he calls the trolley tax trick. And the trick is that it's deceptive. It looks like a great deal when in fact it hasn't been economically justified. The arithmetic hasn't been done. And you're looking at live pictures now, some of the yard signs that are starting to pop up in downtown Sacramento. Now, the voting does start today and continues until June 2nd. Most of the money, we are told, comes from federal, state, and county resources. But, of course, property owners will also be directly affected. Reporting live in downtown Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. And, Mike, this is the second vote on the streetcar project, right? That's right. There was a vote earlier that involved uh, property uh, owners, and they did vote to approve the project. But this one involves all the residents in the district. And the difference here is that this one requires a two-thirds vote of all those that are, that are voting on this. That's a much higher bar to reach. We'll be watching to see where this goes. Mike, thank you.